This is tutorial number 32 and it covers how to make drawings within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off let's open up a brand new drawing file. Let's click File, click New, click Standard.IDW, click OK. Now what we have is our drawing template that we're going to draw on and from these drawings we're able to show the dimensions, show the specs of the part so that other people can produce it. Now to start off let's click Base View and let's search for a part on the DVD. Now the part that we're going to use in this tutorial is called Drawing and from this part that I made we're going to create the drawings for it. So let's click Open and the drawings that we're going to show, the different views, is going to be a front, a top, a right, and an isometric bottom right. Now you're able to use any views that you want to show but the standards that most people use are a front, a top, a right and an isometric one so that you're able to see pretty much everything that's going on on the part. So to start off we're going to do the front one. Right now our scale is at 1 to 1 and we're going to do it with hidden lines visible. Now you're able to change it too if you want to. You can have it without hidden lines and you can have it just as a solid part too. Right now let's just keep it with hidden lines. Let's click OK and we have our first drawing. Now as we left it at 1 to 1 the drawing's a little bit too small, so let's delete it and let's get a different one. So let's click Base View, let's click the drawing again, click Open, and this time let's change the ratio to 3 to 1. Click OK, click OK, and we've made our first drawing. The scale looks good, everything's visible, and it's easy for us to see. So let's keep doing it at the same scale. So let's click base view, click top, we'll get the drawing again, the part, the drawing part, make sure it's 3 to 1, hidden lines, click OK, and now we have the top view. Now let's do the right, click base view, click right, click drawing, open, click OK, and now we have the right. Now when you're setting up the, your drawings, a tip and something that's important is to make sure that everything lines up right so that from your front view the top view is in line with everything so the sides are in line there the circle is in line there and the cutout here is in line too and when you look across to the right the circle is in line with the circle cuts there the top is in line having everything in line allows for the drawings to be easier to read and it also lets people figure out the dimensions and the tolerances and just all the specs on it a lot easier having everything lined up. Now let's also do an isometric view so let's click base view, we'll click the drawing part again, we'll do isometric bottom right and we'll make it solid so it looks like it's from uh, the part that we made in Autodesk. Click OK and we have our isometric part. Now we're also able to show dimensions of the part. So if we click the dimension tool here, we're able to show how wide it is, how tall it is, and we're able to show stuff like the diameter, how big the diameter is, how far away the diameter is to the side. So you're able to show all the dimensions that you want just by clicking the dimensioning tool and showing the dimensions that you want to show. And this concludes our tutorial on how to make a drawing with an Autodesk Inventor.